The video you're watching right now is sponsored by Wondershare PDF Element Pro and that doesn't mean that I'm only gonna be talking about all the goods, all the goods and all the goods about this thing. In this world, nothing is perfect, even this application is not. They reach out to me and I told, okay, I'm good to go with this application because I've been using the Wondershare PDF Element Pro on my Mac and that is one of the best thing I have ever purchased. That's one of the best thing I've ever used compared to Adobe Acrobat. That's a little complicated, that's a little bigger in size, that's a little expensive. But on this iOS version, I'm not that amazing or amazed with this application, but it's a very, very new application with a lot of features. I'll be talking about the goods and the bads about this application. At the end, I'll be talking about the bads. At first, let's check all the goods on this application. So I have noted down pretty much every single good things and every single bad things on this one. So at first, let's start with all of the good things. I have the iPad, I have the iPhone because these both devices are showing the application in a little different way. That's the reason I have to use both of the devices and show you guys. But at first, I'll be happy to show you how you can download this application. It's pretty easy. Just go to the App Store and search for PDF Element. You don't need to search for the Pro. And after that, you have to scroll down a little bit because this application, as I already told you, this application is a little new. That's the reason it's not yet available in the search. It's not in the first position, but within a couple of days, hopefully this application will be at the top because it's amazing. Here you can see the homepage of the PDF Element Pro. Here you can see I have some files and also the download section. You may ask me, from where we can bring our PDF files on this application on iOS devices because on Android it's open source that's easy but on iOS it's a little complicated but just follow along me it's pretty easy here you can see a blue plus icon just click on this one after that here are some options like the create folder create PDF and the camera section where you can get some files inside of this one anyway I'll be talking about this camera because I have a little problem with this camera section I'll be talking about that one soon anyway there are other options like the files, the photos and the computer. The computer means the server that I'm not a big fan of because that I just don't do that much. The thing I do most of the time is from Google Drive. But here you cannot see the Google Drive option. There is a little trick. Here you have to click on the files and after going into the file just click on the browse and here you can see the iCloud Drive. If you don't have the Google Drive, don't worry. Just click on the top left corner there is a three dot after that click on edit sidebar on your ipad but on iphone that's a little different i'll show you guys anyway here you can see the google drive just take this one click on done now you can go inside of your google drive i just want to bring one file on this application so here is one file on this application that's loading right now it's loaded anyway listen carefully if you delete something from here it doesn't mean you are deleting the files from google drive you can safely delete files from here but the files on the Google Drive will remain there, don't worry. Anyway, on the iPhone, it's a little bit different, very, very slight different. Let me show you. Just open the PDF element on your iPhone. Just click on the blue plus icon. You need to do the same thing. Click on the files and here you need to click on the browse. Now click on the three dot, click edit and just enable the Google Drive same things you can do on the iphone basically they're same but a little bit of different because of this ios and ipad os system i hope you got it here you can see i have a big big giant pdf file of 1500 pages not 1500 1242 pages still amazing just here you can see one toggle button here like a bookmark just click on this one here you can see the brightness option i can make it full bright from here i just don't need to leave the application go anywhere even scrolling i can just click on the vertical or the horizontal i don't like the horizontal scrolling that much like it feels a little odd to me but yeah that's what i can also do here you can see the horizontal scrolling uh i prefer the vertical one i like i'm used to with this one don't mind Anyway, the next one is the two page view. This is what I'm mostly excited about. Like if I just disable scrolling, that's better right now. Here you can see. So when I'm reading big files like this, what I do is click on the bookmark and disable the enable scrolling option. Now it looks much better to me. And now I can just, it feels a little snappier and better in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I feel much better to use about this application. By the way, there is another thing I forgot to show you. That's Keep iPad awake. If you click this one, then your iPad will never go to sleep. So if I need need to mark something over here, let me show you. Like if I go out here, I need to mark something like on this section. So what I can do is I can click on this pen icon and I can get different things. Like here you can see the marking one, the highlight one. I can highlight files. Here you can see the 
strike through i just don't want to strike through right now but if i want i can do that it's pretty easy to strike through this one <laughs> that's how easy it is if i want to do underline i can even do that like this aha uh -huh. that's amazing here you can see i can do the underline when you're scrolling use two finger not three finger or not one finger because this will happen if something bad happens like this what you can do is just click on this undo icon on the right side here just click on this one this is called the pencil you can use like you can make it this or even if you want you can just remove the opacity a little bit and you can use it like a highlighter if you want but who does that the next one is the eraser like you have done something wrong and you want to remove this one you can do that what i use the most here is this annotated one i just use this one so much every day like this can't understand the best part here is you can just drag it anywhere you want like this or this pdf element pro work it's an amazing solution this is the shape tool we can use to draw some shapes even if we want we can just use the bars or the rectangular or even the oval we can change the thickness of the border even if you want we can change the colors the stamp i don't use this one so much but someday hopefully i'll become a boss and i will use all of these things like the review the approved sign here things like that these are like the professional thing but if you want to use like the approved hmm good you are good to go you know i'm a student every other day i have to sign some forms from my university and that's the reason i have to use this signature this is like my university's transfer program request and i have just filled this up and sent to my university using this application it's pretty easy you can just write on all of these boxes like if you want to write your name your like whatever it is you can fill a form easily and after that if you need to sign a form it's pretty easy to do so just click on this one click a signature like this just done make it smaller that's how easy easy it is every other application on the market is so complicated this one is one of the best and the user friendly application right now for editing pdf now comes the harder part that is creating pdf go with blank this is the blank file right now we have compared to the mac one that i use every other day this is very different this doesn't have a lot of feature that i just want in my daily uses like i know that i'm being a little biased because i use that one on my computer uh, that's why i got a little biased if you want to edit pdf in every possible way this is the best application but for creating not the best anyway now let's come into the bad section of this pdf element okay number one thing that is the ocr optical character recognition that i have on the mac one on the ipad one or even on the iphone one uh, not the best option so as far as i have used there is no way to add watermark on this one and the next one is add or create a pdf form pretty much on the creating part this is lacking a little bit but hopefully with the next few updates wondershare will fix it amazingly and i'll be here with you guys with same application with so many more features hopefully wondershare will add these options i'll write all the cons in the description so that wondershare can fix them asap but other than those this application is one of the best i was using the pdf element the basic one on my ipad it is amazing the pro one is another level just need a little bit update other than that this one is the best on the market compared to like adobe as i don't have a lot of time this is very user friendly like within one or two days you can get used to with this application like me that's how easy that's how amazing that's how much convenient this application is you can get this application from the app store or there is a link in the description or in the comment section you can go from there hopefully i'll be back with the next update of this application till then it's still amazing anyway that's all bye